Hello again everyone, as usual, I'm Buff Button. Today we are back with another episode of Continuum. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Um, yeah, I have no idea what the heck is actually going on with this. Uh, so, as you guys can see over there, uh, I did load this game up uh, back on the 24th, uh, and I just have been having it AFK for since then. Um, but because I loaded up then, we have all these holiday things here, and I also have a hat, and dragon wings, question mark? I'm not really sure, to be honest, <laughs> but yeah, we have that going for us. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. Anyway. So, off-camera, I did do a little bit of work, as you guys see there. Uh, so, we... Let's see. Last episode, let's do a quick recap. We made this little pr uh, plastic processing thing here. Unfortunately, we are constantly running out of water, because even that is not enough water to hold it. So, what I have been doing is I've been just taking iodine capsules. They're pretty easy to make. It's um, honey, pollen clusters, a can, gunpowder, and a carpenter with a little bit of water. You take it. And then you run it into a Rainmaker, which actually, yeah, okay, Rainmaker is relatively simple, hardened casing, and yeah. So it's pretty simple, take the iodine capsule, run it in there, it's, it does take a slight bit of time to power up. Any minute now. Alrighty, and it should be about done now, and boom. There we go. And look at that. Now it starts raining, which will in turn fill up our rain collectors up there, pumping them down into there, pumping it from here down over to here, uh, also pumping latex from here down into here, producing the tiny rubber that we need. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. We also did something else other than that. I don't remember what, though. Dang. Oh, well. But anyway... Uh, so we also made our uh, plant interactor over here, and we also made the uh, the range add-on for it. And as you guys can see, it does uh, encapsulate, encapsulate, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. Um, it does go all the way around the whole farm here. Uh, I did have to manually hoe all this myself, because this thing doesn't do that. That is one downside. Um, but because it also does reach up here, I planted peppercorns. So we got that. Wow, this tree is hardly anything. Anyway, um, but as you guys can see, I do have a pretty large field made of all the ingredients that we're going to need for our uh, Korean dinner here. And uh, I haven't turned it on yet because it's not even powered. I don't even have a uh, power cable going to it. But uh, I also moved our animals down here with the golden lassos that we got. All you got to do is right click. There we go. And then you can place them back. I also moved these guys down because these guys were getting pretty murdered up there as well. So, yeah. And, wow, these guys are freaking annoying. Oh my god. Really? Huh. This thing doesn't have, uh, AoE, does it? No, it doesn't. Um, okay. This is actually a good time for our, uh, other sword, isn't it? Wow, I didn't realize I spawned so many chickens. But we definitely do not want this many in here. I just realized, I do not have a way out. I don't have any ladders or anything down here. That blows. Oh well. Anyway. Wow, this is pretty bad. I should also get a uh, sound muffler down here. I didn't even think of that. I'm pretty sure I have like one or two extras anyway. Oh my god. Well, it's definitely thinning the herd. This is really helpful. Oh my god. Because, uh, aren't these helpful in the, the Korean dinner? I think I can use them for something. It's normal. Okay, so that's beef. Uh, I need eggs. Okay, so it looks like I... I don't even know why I clicked on the lettuce. It looks like we actually only need eggs for that thing. So maybe I'll only get, like, five chickens down here producing eggs. 
Well, I don't know. Is five enough? Five might not be enough. Maybe I'll get like ten. Wait, did I? I did. I just freaking got a chicken trophy. Oh my god. I think I actually got a uh, zombie trophy off camera as well. Which is actually a uh, quest, oddly enough. Come on. There we go. Okay. Are all these filled with eggs? They are. Wow. Okay. That's funny, actually. Let me quickly get out of here. Um. Come on. That works. Alright. So, boom. Uh, let's put this down there. Boom, boom. And temporarily, let's do that as well. So we have a bunch of eggs that uh, actually can't be used. Anyway, but yeah, so I got every uh, livestock that is actually beneficial and the, the horses, because I like them. Uh, but anyway, uh, shut up, phone. Uh, all we got to do is we got to power this thing and attach um, uh, storage to it in order to actually be able to hold everything we need. Now, my plan was to set up a different cooking for blockhead station over here that way everything will be stored in various different um uh counters and such and we're not gonna have to worry about it you know interfering with anything now i'm gonna quickly actually wait let me get a couple more chickens down there since i literally just killed them all let me get like let me start off with eight one two three Four, five, six. Come on. Seven. Eight. There we go. Okay. So now we're good. Uh, all the extra eggs, temporarily, I guess I'll just store in here. Oh man, I have the worst hiccups right now. Okay. Also, oh, nope. That is supposed to go there. Whoop. Okay, so what we need to do now, um, actually, hmm, I'm wondering how many total ingredients do we have? I think I'll just run the thing. I think I'll just run the thing. And see how many we get in the chest. It's not like we have worms or any kind of growth accelerators or anything like that. Uh, causing the stuff to grow quick. So we shouldn't have to really worry about that. Um, just in case, I'll get that. So we shouldn't have to worry about it growing way too quickly. So, yeah. Uh, but anyway. I don't want to dig that. So let's do that. And I want it to be... One lower. Yes, okay. Alright, and I just realized that we are actually within range of this. Oh my god, wait, that's that's where I'm getting the power from. I totally forgot about that. Okay, boom, boom. Yeah, all we gotta do is come right here, and ta-da! I'll actually uh, admit I totally forgot that we had power there. Okay, boom, boom. Alrighty. Yeah, I didn't want to turn this thing on off camera because, I mean, this is a pretty monumentous occasion. Or at least I I think it is. Because, I mean, free food. Okay, so this is going to cause a lot of flooding and annoying stuff to happen, but oh well. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, there we go. Come on. I can do this. There we go. Boom, boom. And then boom, boom. Okay, so now it should be getting power. And it should actually be harvesting everything as well. If I had to guess. It might take a hot minute for it to, uh... Oh, I forgot about the sludge. Does it not auto output? It does not auto output. That is 
annoying. Dang it. Okay, well, not ideal. Actually, wait, don't we have an extra one? I think we have an extra one. Um, yes! Thank you, me, for being an idiot. Okay, so I do need at least one pipe, though. There you are. Thank you. Okay, so let's come over here. I'm going to need to do this then. And we also are going to have to do something about the sludge that's in here. We actually need that. I forgot about that. Okay, so boom. 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 Okay, good. Okay. Uh, oh, it's just taking forever. Okay, that's not too big of a deal then, I guess. Yeah, okay, so it is currently stopped because it is uh, out of room in there. That's not too big of a deal right now, I hope. Okay, so let's throw that in there. Uh, we are going to need to store the sludge for future EFAB crafting. Currently, I don't actually um, uh, have any of the tanks, so I am going to have to hold off on that for a bit. Okay. But it is running. That is what we need. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm even going to have enough uh, space. Also, it is not outputting as quick as I wanted it to, but it should slow down once it fills up a sludge. Right? Or is it going to stop entirely? Back in Mine Factory Reloaded days, it would slow down. Actually, it looks like it's... Huh. Okay, that's actually an improvement. Okay, it looks like it's actually still going at uh, the regular speed, but it's just basically voiding any excess sludge. That's not a bad change at all. Okay, so that's what we got for now. Let's take all this out manually. Throw it in here. Yeah, we're definitely running out of space. I'm wondering if the cooking for blockheads is actually going to be the best way of doing this. Because the more I think about it, the more I think it might just be better to get a couple of those auto crafters and craft everything that way. So that's not too bad of a, a thing. How many crafting operations are we going to need? So one for this whole thing. Let's see, that's two. For the salt, it'll be three. Oh, but we're going to need the water. Hmm. Okay, for the water, we are going to need the cooking for blockheads. I guess. And we're going to have to do that part manually. Because running seaweed into a grinder could be an automated way of doing it, but that would imply that we have uh, we would have to grow seaweed and make a grinder, which isn't too terrible, I guess. But then we would have to deal with veggie bait, which is annoying. And we would have to al uh, then we could also make a uh, a water filter which would actually get us fresh water to make more salt, but we would also have to provide it with woven cotton. So that's pretty annoying. Yeah, so I think we're just going to have to go with a, uh, like a sink, and I think it would just have to be a cooking table, right? I don't know. Yeah, we're full now. See it working in the uh, trees there. Oh, there, then in the trees.
these again. There we go. Okay. And this stuff over here isn't actually fully grown yet. Some of the stuff is kind of grown, but not fully, so... Yeah. Yeah, and look at that. Now it's not even harvesting anything, because there isn't anything to harvest. Okay. Huh. Okay, so we... We know for sure we're going to need... Um, uh, we're going to need a sink to get the water. So how do we make that? Bucket of water, terracotta, and iron. Okay. Then we're also going to need the pot on a tool rack. Actually, wait, no. D does the pot go on the oven or the tool rack? I think it goes on the oven. I think you can hold it on a tool rack, though. Okay, so let's take the pot, stick it on a tool rack, and see if we can still make salt. Okay, so it looks like we should still be able to take it, then. Yeah, okay. So let's make the sink and a tool rack, and we should be good. Uh, we need iron, we need a bucket of water. Oh, wow, that's weird. Let's just take that. Bucket. Hopefully this isn't going to use it up. And then we need terracotta, which I don't know if we have. We actually do. Okay, that's surprising. And it doesn't use up the bucket. That's wonderful. Thank you. Okay, so we got the sink. We need a tool rack. So to do that, boom. Okay, so we got that. Tool rack. Nice. We need a... Oh, wait. The pot is from Pam's. Pam. Pot. There it is. Okay. Oh, that's brick. Which we actually have over in our smelting chest. Thank you. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, so that will get me that. I will need a cooking table, though. Which is a book that we cook. Then we need to combine with diamonds and stuff. Okay, so... We have exactly one book. Thank you take that okay uh <laughs> i'm glad that can't be smelted okay cookbook done all right so now we need this one which i don't think we have any of those yeah we don't okay so Nice. So now we should be able to make the table. Boom. Okay. That's good. Alright, so now... Let's throw these over here. I'm... Uh, for now, I'm just going to set these down wherever they can go. Um, I think I can just do this, can't I? Pot. And then, yeah, I can do salt. Okay, good. That is very helpful. Um, eh, whatever. Okay, so... No, uh, we are going to need a cutting board as well. Let's see, pot. Skillet. Skillet. Juicer. We're going to need a lot. Ah. <sighs> Okay, so I'm going to need at least one more tool rack, so I might as well, eh, let me take that off first. I don't know if that'll break it. Alright, 
So let's throw this on the back, throw that there. Okay, so we're going to need a skillet and a cutting board. What else did we need? Okay, pot. We don't need anything else here. We need the skillet. Boom. Let's see, we don't need anything else there. Okay, oh, there's also sugar. Ugh. Well, that's, that's going to be interesting to make, but oh well. Okay, we don't have the pressure plate. Boom. Do that. Boom. Boom. Okay. So now we have those two. Oh, uh, we also need one more tool rack. Thank you. Okay. So now we should have everything we need. I hope. Okay, so skillet. Uh, oh, we know we need the cutting board. That's right. Okay, so boom, cutting board. There. Okay, so that should be everything we need for the cooking utensils. Boom. All right. So nothing really should have changed here just yet. Um. So how many total crafting things do we need? So we need this one for this. We need, let's see, two, three. Oh, we need a, damn. Okay, so this is gonna be number four. Uh, mortar and pestle, really? That's bull crud. Okay, so let's come over here and make one of them then. And we're actually going to need another tool rack now. Oh, boy. Okay. So we got that. And then we need a mortar and pestle. Let's... Here we go. There we go. Okay. Let's come over here and place that down on the side, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Now, okay, so one, two, three, four, let's see, five, six, right? One, two, Three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, so we need six. That's actually not that bad. Oh, why do we have... Really? That's bull crud. Okay, so we actually only need six. That's not as many as I was expecting. That is actually much better. Uh, I'm going to keep this iron nugget so I can throw it in the uh, thing over there. Um... Six of these, so we need six. Let's see, six times two is 12, times four is 48? Yes. Ouch. Please, oh wait, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Yes. Okay, so if, I'm, if my math is correct, that's 48. That doesn't sound right for some reason. That doesn't sound right, and I don't know why. Uh, that's a plate. We need that. Why does that not sound right? Uh, I guess we'll find out. Okay, so... Thanks. I'm gonna need six crafting tables then. Okay, so, crafting tables, right. Uh, I can craft them here. I'm an idiot. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Also, it is actually raining outside right now. 
And it's freaking... What, what is today's date? It's the 28th that I'm recording this. Spoiler alert. Fourth wall break. Whatever you want to call it. It's the freaking 28th of December, and it's raining. Like, dude, that is so weird. Twelve. Six and six. Yeah, okay, that's right. Hmm. I don't know why that didn't seem right. All right. I think it was cobblestone, not normal stone that I needed, right? There we go. Okay, so... Unfortunately, we are going to need to make some more... Um... Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> My glasses actually came apart, and I totally forgot to put them back together. Okay, so we're going to need... Hmm. How do I want to do this? Give me a second to think of how I want to do this quick. Alright, so I got a bit of a rough idea of what we need to do here. I just wrote it all down on a sheet of paper to try and get the idea out. So we're basically going to need one crafting thing. Actually, I can place it down. One crafting thing for the final dinner. Then we're going to need three different things to go into that. Plus the lettuce, but that can just be on its own thing. Then for one of these things, we're going to need two more crafters. So I guess something like that. I don't know. Um, let's see. Then for this one here, we just need a bunch of raw materials. And then this one here, we need a bunch of raw materials. So that's basically all we got to do for that. Um... I'm trying to think of the best way of doing that, though. Because I, I have a feeling we're going to need a bunch of item transposers. Uh, item transfer pipes, or transposer, is that what it's called? No, transfer nodes, sorry. We're going to need a bunch of uh, transfer nodes. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to need one for each item. Like, let's see, we're going to need one for lettuce, one for beef, garlic, sugar, scallion, ginger, peppercorn, soybean, uh, fresh water, uh, salt, rice, carrot, onion, egg, let's see, cabbage, radish, spice leaf, and sesame seeds. So let's see. Beef we already have, so let's mark that one off. Garlic, sugar, let's see, hold on a sec, so... Uh, maybe I didn't plan this entire thing out just yet. Uh, let's see, so scallion, we do already have a scallion, so boom. We have salt, cabbage, we have garlic, we have ginger, we have scallion. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 chests. Uh, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24. So, it looks like 24 total, um, uh... Twenty-four total uh, item transfer nodes are what we're going to need, and then we can set this whole thing up. Actually, twenty-five. Make it twenty-five. Okay, it's going to be annoying to do, but I can do that. In fact, I'm going to do that off camera real quick. I am going to get all of them, and I will get this whole thing set up. And hopefully working so we can see how it works. So uh, I will see you guys in a minute. Alright, so it took me forever to actually get all the materials together. And then I realized that it's not actually going to work. I don't know how I didn't realize this at first. But to create this, we're going to need the cutting board in the crafting inventory. As in inside the, mecha uh, the mechanical crafter. 
Oh, and I apologize about that yawn. It is currently 12.30 in the morning because I wasn't planning on staying up this late recording this episode. So, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to need the cutting board here. We're going to need pot here. Uh, let's see. We're going to need a skillet here. We're going to need another skillet. We're going to need the juicer. We're going to need the porter muscle. Uh, porter muscle. The me Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. We're, we need all that in the crafting inventories. We just have them attached over there. So what I did is I created a kitchen counter for every single ingredient that we need to go into this. And I have transfer nodes, which we actually only need one for now. And we need transfer uh, filters and then the pipes. So what we got to do now is we got to single out the filters Actually, you know what? The better thing to do here would be to clear out all this land below this. For right now. Because all of this is unnecessary. Can I dig that? No, I can't. Okay, so it's... Boom. And actually, I don't need to get those two. So that's all the land that we need to get. And I can go down here. So, uh, this one right here is lettuce. So I can open this up, throw lettuce in here, and then I can throw up a filter, connect it to there, and then I can throw in the lettuce. Okay. Unlimited. Let's see what other skill stack. Unlimited. Okay. So then we're good there. So then we need the next one, which is actually, let's throw the lettuce in there so it's out of our inventory. Then we're going to need sesame seeds in this next one. Sesame seeds are where? They are right here. Uh, yep, that corner. Right here, so we need to place that down. Throw that in. And then we're good with that one. And so on and so on. Once we're done with all that, then we can connect it all up with the transfer pipes. And then connect all the transfer pipes to over to that thing. So I'll do that real quick as well. I'll be right back. Alright. Everything is now all set up for the most part. Now we just have to connect it all up. And that part is not going to be hard at all. I don't want that there. I don't know if that's uh, going to cause any problems. It shouldn't, I wouldn't imagine. But whatever. So let's just connect all these. Okay, so that's all good. Then we can put this back down. Unfortunately, we're going to have the pipes underneath, but oh well. Nothing we can really do about that. So now, all we got to do is very simply just connect this up to here. Boom. Um, boom. And boom, boom. And yeah, now it's draining. It should be draining into the correct thing. Well, that didn't work. Oh, crud. What was the one that was... I see lettuce coming out. Oh, it must still be searching. I see. Did it find it? Hmm. As soon as we can, we're gonna have to get, um... Uh, we're gonna have to get speed upgrades on all this stuff here. For sure. Okay. So anyway, put the lettuce down. That way it's at least uh, color-coded, or um, item-coded. Uh, but then the other thing that we have to do is we basically have to manually get the fresh water and the, uh, the salt, unfortunately. So we just have to basically do this constantly, non-stop. And... Oh, frick. Okay. Now we have a bunch of extra water here. Um, there's the pot. There we go. So I guess I'll throw this water away because we don't need it. But we do need the salt, which is right here. Okay. And we can throw that in. We need nine more salt. Let's do that. Okay. There we go. 
Alrighty, so this thing is obviously taking slow, but it's getting there. It'll auto-sort itself out eventually. Unfortunately, we don't have any way of speeding that up, though. Not at the moment. But now, all we basically gotta do is... Let's get um, black pepper, because we need some of that. 31, that's fine. Uh, then we need... Let's see. Nope, that's not the right one. We need... Soy sauce. That's kimchi right away. Soy sauce. Uh, because we can't craft a full stack, let me just do it manually. There we go. Then let's get 31 kimchi. Oh, not again. Nope. Going in the water. Dick. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I hate those guys. They're so fast, they speed up behind me, and then they freaking turn, uh, uh, catch me on fire with my own bow. That's so annoying. Anyway. Okay, so let's get that kimchi again. Okay, so we can get 31. 31. We need amarice. We need 31 of them. Thirty-one, and let's see. With the black pepper and the soy sauce, we need to craft what? The weird word here. Belogi, belogi. I don't know. There it is. Actually, that one we can just do that. But now, from these. Korean dinner. There it is. Boom. Now we have Korean dinner. Finally. That is a relief. Oh boy. So now we can get rid of these foods, throw them in that system over there because we do not need them anymore. And now I basically have food to last me forever. So yeah. That is wonderful. And now we no longer have to worry about food. Beautiful. Okay, so actually, where's our to-do list? Is this it? No. Where's our to-do list? It's in one of these chests. Here we go. Okay, food. That is done. Awesome. Uh. Okay, so... Uh, let's see... Seems like our next two goals are the Ender Pouch and Ender Chest, and then the Blaze Farm. Do we really need them, though? Hmm. Let's check our, our quests to see what we're currently working on with them. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Nice. I'll take that. Take the plastic. Oh, wants us to make them anyway? That blows. Mob slaughter factory. Wither builder. Okay. Mob crusher. Okay, interesting. Huh. Oh, yawn. Interesting. That's, no, that's not the one that automatically uh, changes things into other things. Hmm. Okay, so I think what we need to do now is just try and get a bunch of those uh, machine casings. Because we're going to need a lot. Oh, my god, I am so freaking tired. I, I apologize. What is this, bullcrud? Yeah, bullcrud. And boop. There we go. So how's this thing doing? 
Eh, filling up faster than the empties, but oh well. Can't do too much about that. Uh, and then, I have been uh, feeding these guys every now and then to try and grow them. I should put a ladder down here in case I do fall down, though. I keep eating the freaking wheat. I don't know why. There we go. Okay. So that is wonderful. Oh, no, this stays down. Okay. There we go. Alright, so we finally got food production going. Very reliable food production. In fact, that one uh, thing, god dang it. How much water and salt did that take? Oh! That didn't take any water at all because we have the sink. Okay then. Interesting. So I guess I don't need this one. Oh dear. <laughs> that thing finally popped off. I guess I'm throwing these things far enough away. How do I have plastic? Oh, come on! There we go. I know we're going over on time for this episode, by the way. I'm just trying to finish this. Okay, so I can also take this and I can put this in here. I can't move this one into there though, can I? I doubt it. No, that blows. All right, well that can stay there then I guess. If anything, I'll try and fix this up to make it a bit more pretty looking off camera. But for now, we are good. We have amazing food production now. Throw that in. Oh, okay, I can't throw that in. Where is that counter? There it is. Throw that in. What else can I throw in? Anything? Not anything at all. That blows. That's dumb. Well, the plastic should at least go in there. Let's take that out. There. Okay, yep. All right, and toss that in, toss that in there. Okay, so, took a long time, but we finally got um, food production going. Uh, I can basically AFK food um, produce that stuff nonstop. Um, I don't know, maybe at some point I'll uh, choose to... Uh, um, uh, to do it the other way, and I'll just make a couple pots and everything for the, uh, crafting. I don't know. Oh, yawning. Um, that way it'll, uh, uh, it'll be able to auto-craft it, and I'll be like, oh no, I'm running low on food, and then just, like, click on a, uh, barrel or whatever to get the stuff, a storage drawer. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll do that. But anyway... I'm rambling. This episode's going on way long enough, so I'm going to have to end it there. If you guys did enjoy, then please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you, and have a great day, then. Goodbye.